Here's a short practical guide on how to fit the new Land Rover Defender rear door soft close retrofit. For this retrofit, you will need a soldering iron and solder flux, felt tape, a metal and a plastic trim tool, a screwdriver with a T25 size bit, a screwdriver with a T30 size bit, wire cutters and wire strippers. First, start by removing the storage tray. Do this by removing the screw cover from the top and use a T30 sized screwdriver. We recommend an electric one to speed up the process. Once removed, we next need to unscrew the screws on the panel using the same size screwdriver. You do not need to remove the twist locks. Place the removed screws in a separate bag as to not lose any. Use a plastic trim tool to remove the panel. The clips are located here. Carefully remove the clips holding the wires down in the door using a metal trim tool. Remove the three screws from the door latch. And place them in a second bag to keep them safe. Remove the latch mechanism from inside the door. Squeeze either side of both wire plugs on the latch mechanism and pull up to remove them. Add the rubber plugs from the kit provided to these three holes in the door. These plugs correlate to the screws on the soft close kit. This should easily slot in with some light force. Now we're going to connect the new actuator to the existing latch mechanism. The wire that connects them has a wire holder which you need to slot into and then attach the plastic clip on the wire into the allocated slot on the actuator. The wire will then need to sit inside the wire holder. Attach the wire to the lock mechanism. Once done, position it back inside the door panel. Take the screws you removed from their bag or safe place. Line up the holes on the door to the holes on the door latch. To begin with, screw the screws in loosely. Once you have all three in position, tighten them up. Now for the wiring that comes with the kit. We have numbers on this part from one to six. Fit this to the actuator. The bottom of the latch will come out now. It is also numbered from one to six from right to left. There are small clear plastic slots inside these parts. Remove these parts. Here, we need to connect number four to number four. Push the wire in firmly and twist. Once inserted correctly, you should feel a click and the wire should not be easily removable. Then connect number two to number three. And lastly, connect number six to number two. Now we need to connect number six to wire number five. Strip the end of wire number six and strip a section towards the middle of wire number five. Once connected, add a small amount of solder flux and solder. And secure with felt tape. Attach this to the bottom of the lock mechanism. Now we are going to test that everything is working as it should. To do that, we will plug into the fuse box. Remove the fuse box lid. Here, we will look for fuse number 33. Attach the wire to the fuse cable from the kit via the crimp. Once you have found F33 on the fuse box, which is often on the top left, attach the fuse provided. To test the latch, get a screwdriver and gently pull back the latch. You should hear the latch slowly start to move. Test this several times to make sure everything is working as it should. Now we know everything is fine, we can correctly insert the wire. Inside the door, pop the top and the bottom clip off the wire tunnel to remove it. Pull the wire through the gap. 
To make this as easy as possible, we recommend using a wire feeder to help push the wire through. Push it up through the wire tunnel. Once through the other side, unattach the wire feeder and remove from the tunnel. Reattach the wires to the fuse box in the same position as before. Reattach the fuse box cover and wire tunnel to the original positions. Place all the wires back inside the door and tape up any loose wires. Reattach the plugs on the wires to the door. Place the door cover back on the door panel. Use your screwdriver to insert the screws to their original position. Place the storage tray inside the panel and insert the screw. Cover the inserted screw with its original cover. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the team via telephone, email or our social media accounts.